We are And we are down to the nitty gritty, oh yeah. Somebody's O must go. Kunishiwa. And with Naomi Osaka inactive, there will be a new champion in Beijing. She took out Ashley Barty in the final. But in case you don't remember that draw, I'll remind you. Adela Net, Suwe Hesh, Strike of Venus Williams, Danny Mel, Geeky, Do You Love Me, Veronica Kudamatova, Garbinia Muguruza, Julia Churches. Caroline Garcia, Diana Yastrzemska, Donna Vekic, Sasnovich, Elisa Mertens, Petra Martic, Team Vegan in the Building, Jennifer Brady, Anasi Mova, Mokova, Ayla Tom Janovic, Allison Risk, Andrea Petkovic will not be dancing anymore, Big Game, Jesse P. Dashakina, Bernarda. Para, Little Lauren, Moneyline, Davis, and Yakova Wong, and Yelena Ostapenko. Whoa! From Warsaw. Five foot nine, 22 years old. Her footwork's so good, she should be on Dancing with the Stars. And she'd probably win that too. She's so fast. Every week she's in a new time zone with a new title. She's a headache for opponents. And her next opponent, she's been a migraine. Did I tell you what happened at the WTA finals? It was the invasion of Poland. And Texas looked like Warsaw, the way Iga put on a show. Iga's bakery was open. Ouch. That's a lock. And a Jordan fist pump. Was it the shoes? It's gotta be the shoes. Doha wasn't any better, same result. But once we hit France, we started to notice an upward trend. Ego won the title, but the bigger they come, the harder they fall. And Coco would fall seven times, but the only question was, could she get up eight? From the USA, five foot nine, 19 years old, Coco's the future of tennis. She's so fast, she only eats fast food. She's hot. She's on a 17 match win streak. Oops. She's won 21 out of 22 and check out this hit list. Mayor Sharif, Linda Noskova, Jasmine Polini, Iga, Big Bad Iga. Mukova for the championship and the drama in New York City. 
Laura's Sigmund was too old, Mera was too young, Elise Mertens was too slow, Caroline Wozniacki's reconsidering, retiring again, Yelena Ostapenko was too short, 20 minutes for the first, Mukova again, and Arena Sabalenka, too many mistakes for the Grand Slam title. Alexandrova straight sets in Beijing, Petra Martic team vegan not enough, and Veronica Kudamatova choked. She had the first set but couldn't close it out, the brick wall called Coco Golf got the job done, and the Greek goddess had to pack up and watch the rest of the tournament on TV. She will not be in the finals this year. And we got another showdown with Iga, Big Bad Iga. But must I remind you what happened in Cincinnati? Oh, the look of frustration. For the first time ever, Corey Coco Golf got the victory over Iga Fiantek. And the bigger they come, the harder they fall. The fans were shocked, but not Coco's coaching team. They had the right game plan. Good job, coach. Coco got the victory in three sets and walked away with her first Masters Championship. Whoa! But the only question is, can she do it again? Iga wins 79% of her service games and 49% of her return games. She breaks her bonus when they're pressured at 55% and saves a whopping, astonishing, amazing 64% of her own break points. Iga's got amazing serve placement, top-notch footwork, and she could turn offense to defense against any opponent with her blazing forehand. Coco averages four aces per match and wins 75% of her service games. She wins 42% of her return games and gets 69% of her first service in play. She breaks the bonus from the pressure at 47%. She saves a whopping, astonishing, amazing 60% of her own break points. Coco's the most athletic player on tour. She covers the net better than anyone. She's a brick wall on defense and her backhand is top notch. Who you got? Why did Iga charge the net? Because she ran out of cash. And I'm rolling with little Coco. You can only lose once on a win streak. And I think Coco can win this match outright. Coco's the underdog, and I'll take the free five and a half games. Why not? This is good energy. Both of these ladies are amazing. Enjoy the match.